test today on a series 1400 shredder granulator combination unit. What we're going to show you is the rotor for the shredder is mounted up here, right above the chamber, and then the granulator is mounted uh, right below um, the unit. So the material comes in through the hopper, there's a ram that pushes it towards uh, the rotor, and the material falls down into the granulator. We're going to run over the 25 millimeter screen on the shredder and a 10 millimeter screen on the granulator. Let's close it up. The screens on the unit are fully hydraulic. I'm going to show you that in the second part of this, of this video. Come over here. This is a 60 horsepower drive for your shredder. Above that is your hopper. The unit has SCW gearbox and SKF bearings on the unit. Back here is your hydraulic system, which works the hydraulics for the screen as well as um, the ram on this unit. And this is your ram above. And we have a 30 horsepower motor against a WEG motor on our units. Uh, which powers the granulator, which is below. We're going to be running it. Here's the uh, test cabinet for the unit. The test cabinet's uh, complete. It has a blower system on it. So you'd start off the blower, you move over to the granulator, hydraulics, the shredder, and then they're all prepared with a feed conveyor on it. So it's a fairly simple controls to run. The interior of the, of the unit is, it's going to be Eaton Electricals, with Siemens, um, kind of the, the brick running the machine is going to be a Siemens on the unit. So we're going to uh, stop the video, put your purgings inside the shredder, and then run the test for you today. This shows the opening of the 1400 series and shows how the screen cradle for the granulator drops down so it gives you easy access uh, to get to the screen and to also get to the knives. And then it's also, the unit's droppable, where there's bolts on each side. There's four bolts on this side, and four bolts on the right-hand side, where you can actually drop the granulator down and pull it away if you need to do uh, more complete access uh, to the granulator uh, portion of the combination unit. What we're going to do now is we're going to start closing the screen. So I'm just going to put it to the closed position. And there's just two buttons you just push simultaneously. And it's hydraulic screen closed. Perfect. And what Paul's going to do now, he's going to then bolt it in. There are five bolts across the top um, which secure the uh, screen holder to the actual frame of the machine. It's a fairly simple way to change the screen on the 1400 series. The other series are, are the same, the 1000 series uh, has the same mechanism. It's just a, it's not as wide of screen cradle. This is the material we're going to run. We already put half of what was provided to us into the chamber. I'm going to take you up there and show you what it looks like, and then I'll start the unit going. So this is what we've got in here. The unit can take more in here. We're just going to run half at a time, and um, but we can always fill it all the way up. Usually you fill it two-thirds of the way, and that's when these machines run at their most efficient. So I'm going to walk over now, and I'm going to start, start the machine going for you and walk you through the startup. So the first thing you can do is turn on the blower. And we have a central blower system in our, in our lab here, so we just kind of run the pipes to it because we share it with a variety of machines. Let me turn on the granulator. Then we start the hydraulics going uh, for the shredder. So we're gonna get that going. And Once you see the amp overload go off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the ram, which is right here, and she'll push forward for you.
evacuating real, real well. Your material looks nice. Again, it's been uh, caught with a 10 millimeter drain on the unit. There's no heat being built up on this as well. to the end of all the material in there. 